Your English teacher, Teacher Lalane. And today, we will discuss the English 3, 4th quarter, module 2, lesson 3. And it's all about words with vowel diphthongs. Now, what are the things we need to achieve after the lesson? These are the objectives for our lesson today. First, we need to identify words containing vowel diphthongs. And second, we need to read the words containing vowel diphthongs. But before we are going to proceed to our new lesson, let us check your knowledge and skills about our previous discussions about short and long vowel sounds. Directions Draw a star if the picture has a short vowel sound and a heart if it has a long vowel sound. You will be given 5 seconds each item. Let's start! The first object shows a piece of coarse material placed on the floor for people to wipe their feet on. What is your answer? Awesome! The correct answer is a star because the picture is a mop and it has a short vowel O sound. Let's have the second picture. The object shows the upper part of the human body. What is your answer? Exactly! The answer is a heart shape because the object points on the head part of the human's body and the word head has a long vowel sound. Third picture. The object shows a container of ceramic ware or metal used for storage or cooking. What is your answer? is the star because the picture is a pot and the pot is a word having short vowel sound. Very good kids, let's have another one. The fourth object shows a large body of water 
surrounded by land? What is your answer? Well done! The answer is a heart because the lake has a long vowel sound. Let us have the last object. It shows a female chicken that usually lays egg. What is your answer? Excellent! You got it right, kids! The correct answer is a star because the hen has a short vowel sound. Very good, kids! It seems that you really understood and listened to your teacher's discussion. You are now ready for our next topic. This time, we will have another activity. I want you to write the missing letters to spell each word. Write the letters OI, OY, OU, or all double to complete the word. You will be given five seconds each item. The first illustration shows a building, especially one that is lived in by a family or a small group of people. H, blank, blank, S, E. What is your answer? Next picture, an object that shows a flat, typically round piece of metal with an official stamp used as money. C, blank, blank, N. What is your answer? Third picture shows a male child or a young man B blank blank what is your answer fourth picture is an animal that is fully grown that kept to produce milk or beef C blank blank what is your answer shows a nocturnal bird of prey with large forward facing eyes surrounded by facial disc, a hooked beak, and typically a loud call. Blank, blank, L. What is your answer? And lastly, the picture shows a comic entertainer, especially one in a circus, wearing a traditional costume and exaggerated makeup. C, L, blank, blank, N. What is your answer? Well done, kids! At this time, let us check your answers. First, House, second, coin, third, boy, cow, five, owl, and six, clown. Did you get all the answers correctly? Awesome! It only shows that you are attentive and ready for our discussion today. Now, let us read the following words. House, coin, boy, cow, owl, and clown. What did you notice with the following words? Good observation, kids. Each word has an underline in the beginning, middle, and at the end. Such as OU in the word house, OI in the word coin, OY in the word boy, 
OW in the word cow, OW in the word owl, and OW in the word clown. The OU, OW, OI, and OY sounded as O, O, OI, OI are examples of vowel diphthongs. What are vowel diphthongs? Vowel diphthongs means D for two and thong for sound. Vowel diphthongs are vowel sounds formed by combining two vowel sounds. It begins as a one vowel sound and moves towards another. Some of the vowel diphthongs are O I, O Y, O W, and O U, such as coin, destroy, town, and couch, are words with vowel diphthongs. Other examples of words having vowel diphthongs are the following toy. Boy, oil, toil, owl, cow, loud, and house. In using vowel diphthongs, let us remember the following. OI sounds as OI comes in the front and middle of a word. OY sounds as OI comes in the end of a word. O U sounds as O comes in the front and middle of the word, and O W sounds as O come in the end of a word. In the word oil, the diphthong OI can be found at the beginning of the word and used in the middle of the word foil. The diphthong OI is found at the end of the word toy. While in cow, the diphthong O is found at the end of the word. Whereas, the O diphthong in the word loud is found in the middle of the word. Some examples of words having vowel diphthongs O are the following. Oil, foil, soil, toil, boil, coil. You have noticed that the diphthong OI can be found either at the beginning or in the middle of the word. These are the examples of words having vowel diphthongs OY or OI. Boy, Toy, Joy, Soy, Roy. How about the vowel diphthongs OW or O? The words are owl, bow, cow, wow, town, and crown. And we also have examples of words that have vowel diphthongs O, U, or O. Out, loud, foul, count, sound, and cloud. Very good, kids! You are all amazing learners. Now, are you ready for another activity? Prepare your paper or notebook and pen. Can you read and identify the name of each picture? Write your answer on a sheet of paper. You will be given 5 seconds to answer. The first illustration shows is an object or headdress worn by kings or queens on their head, usually made of or decorated with precious gem. A. Bow B. Crown or C. Owl What is your answer? The answer is letter B. Crown Amazing! The second picture shows the upper layer of the earth in which the plants grow. A. Soil B. Toil or C. Foil What is your answer? Uh. 
The right answer is letter A, soil. Fantastic! The third picture shows a male child or a young man. A. Boy B. Joy or C. Toy What is your answer? The correct answer is letter A. Boy Good job! Fourth picture shows a visible mass of condensed water vapor floating in the atmosphere. A. Out B. Loud or C. Cloud What is your answer? The exact answer is letter C. Cloud Fabulous! The fifth illustration shows a liquid that reaches the temperature at which it bubbles and turns to vapor. A. Boil B. Soil or C. Toil What is your answer? The right answer is letter A. Boil Great! I hope you got a perfect score. If you do, you are absolutely excellent. If not, you may still have the time to practice and learn more. Let us remember, a vowel diphthong is a vowel sound formed by combining two vowel sounds. It begins as a one vowel sound and moves towards another. Let us remember, in using vowel diphthongs, OI or OI comes in the front and middle of the word, OY or OI comes in the end of a word, OU or O comes in the front and middle of the word, and OW or O comes at the end of a word. At this point, it's your time to show what you have learned in this lesson. You did a great job in the previous exercises. And I know you will also make it this time. I believe you are now ready to answer our quiz for today's lesson. Identify and write the word with vowel diphthongs. You have 10 seconds to write your answer. Number 1. Coin Come, case. What is your answer? The correct answer is coin. Very good. Number two. Bat, boy, boss. What is your answer? The right answer is boy. Amazing! Number three. Hen, house, host. What is your answer? The exact answer is house. Fantastic! Number four. Vow, van, vase. What is your answer? The correct answer is vow. Awesome. Number five. Spice, spell, spoil. What is your answer? The right answer is spoil. Marvelous. 
I hope you get a perfect score. If you do, you are absolutely excellent. If not, you may still have the time to practice and learn more with other activities that can be found in your module. Now kids, on your own time, please answer some activities in your module. Let us practice on page 2, let us assess on page 9, and let us enhance on page 10. These tests can be found in your English 3, 4 quarter, module 2, lesson 3. Enjoy learning kids! Thank you very much for listening and following us and to our parents for guiding our dear learners. This is the end of our lesson today. Once again, this is your teacher Elaine saying, Every day is a chance to learn. Therefore, every day is a chance to grow and become better. See you in our next session, kids. Goodbye! Awesome! Thank you, Teacher Lalane. Thank you also to our viewers and listeners for always being eager to learn amidst our situation. As what the author Emily Vara said, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Have a nice day and stay safe, everyone. Let me